friends, it's Star Thrifter, and um, if you've not watched any of my videos before, I sell full-time on eBay, and I also sell on Poshmark, too, and today what I'd like to do is to show you how to refresh your listings using the bulk edit feature on eBay. I've read in some of the uh, Facebook groups, you know, where people sometimes will have, um, you know, comments about how to increase your sales and things like that, and some of the other resale sellers will uh, suggest that you refresh your listings, and some people are going, well, how do you do that? I didn't know how to do that in the beginning, and um, I'd like to show you step by step on how to do that. You used to be able to call eBay and have them refresh your listings. I don't know if that's still available. Anyhow, we'll get right on to it, and you're going to want to use a desktop for this. I don't think it's available on the app. I really doubt that, but anyhow, we'll get right on to it. I'll show you how to do it, and I'm just going to move. We're going to move over to the computer. Okay, I'm going to try to get this as close as I can to where you're going to be able to see this. Anyhow, you know what? I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. Okay, what you're going to want to do is go on your regular home page, and up at the top here, you're going to click on Sell. you got to wait for it to load because... Um, what it does is it usually loads all of your active listings. Right now, I have 2,598. Anyhow, um, you're on your active listings right now. And what you're going to want to do is, wait a minute here. I just want to make sure that we're on, we are on active. Okay. Now, you're going to want to edit. And see, since I have quite a few listings, they broke it up in two categories, one through 2,000, 2,000 to 2,598. We'll just do this one here. But you're going to want to do both of them. And this will be two separate, you know, times that you'll do it. But I'll show you how to do it. You just click on that. And it's going to bring up those items. It's just telling that they've made some updates. And I already understand the updates. And you got to wait for this to load. Um, they do have a new screen. Um, it looked different than this before. But um, they just updated it. And what you're going to want to do is you're... On, See, it says bulk it up up here. And you're going to want to click on the top button. And see how it highlights all of the listings, the blue? And then we're going to go click on the bulk edit. And um, let's see. Relist availability, price, offers, reduced. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to want to scroll. And what I usually do, you can go in there and change like your handling time or your shipping time or whatever. But if you don't want to change any of that, one easy thing that you can do is just go under item description and you click on that. And it's going to bring up this thing. And it says you want this, whatever you're going to add, do you want to add it to the beginning or do you want to add it at the end? Find text and replace it or change to. Well, we don't want, I don't want to change any of the text or, you know, find or replace any text. I want to add this at the end. Just, you know, something I'll add. And what I'm going to do, see how it brings up this little screen here? I click on that. You can put anything in here. And I'm going to put, you can just type anything, just anything. And it's going to appear at the bottom of your description. And then you're going to push apply. It doesn't matter what it is because it's just going to be either number or a letter or something on the bottom, you know, of your description. And that's it. It doesn't matter what it is, but you'll know what it is. And this sometimes takes a few minutes for this item description for this to load. And hopefully it's going to work today because there's been problems on eBay. I know a little bit here. It did work. Okay. It takes longer when you do the, the, the top line one where, you know, it's the 2000 through whatever. Okay. Now it's asking me, do I want to submit all? And I'll click on that. Yes, so you want to submit all. And then it takes a few minutes to process. It's telling you uh, the step process up here. And it's successfully done. Sometimes when you're doing this, especially when I do the big amount, sometimes it'll say, well, this one didn't update or whatever. Do you want to fix it? I don't usually go and fix it if it's only a couple. I don't ever fix it because whenever you do, then it seems like it doesn't ever finally, you know, complete. I don't know. I do not do that. But anyways, you just push done. And that's it. That is how you refresh your listings. Now, click down here. This is edit. 
and you know how I have two selections here. I have one through 2,000 and then 2,000 above. All these um, 2,000 and above will be considered refresh. I didn't do this one um, today to show you on the video. I just did the smaller one. This one takes a little longer as far as it uploading. But that's all you do. And that is how you refresh. Sorry, just going to move this over to where I can talk to you again. <laughs> Easier. Hopefully that's lined up. Anyhow, that's all you do on how to, that's one way that you can refresh it. And it does work. One thing that I do notice though, is when I refresh it, sometimes it might take a half a day or a day or a couple days before you see it, you know, giving you any results. But that's just, you know, one way that you can refresh it. And um, some people do it quite often. Some people only do it once in a while. I only do it once in a while. I do it when it seems like the sales are kind of lacking a little. And if I was to guess, maybe once a month if that, but some people do it once a week or more. I don't know how often you should do it, but that is, um, you know, up to your own discretion. But hopefully you found some benefit with this. Um, it's easier for me when somebody shows you directly on how to do it. And hopefully you could see um, enough. I know when you watch the videos and somebody shows their computer screen, you can't even make out any of it. I tried to get close enough. The next video, I'll try to get a little bit closer um, when I do another one. I will be doing one um, on how to end all promotions in the bulk edit and then also how to start a promotion in, uh, in the bulk edit. Anyhow, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you'd like, you can subscribe. I've got a lot of other videos up, one on how to increase sales, or more than that probably. But anyways, I got a lot of thrift with me videos as far as not actually going to the thrift store, but showing you what I purchase is what I mean, uh, thrift haul videos. And uh, also some what sold ship with me videos and also some other eBay tips. But anyhow, hopefully you've really enjoyed this and got some valuable content out of it. If you could push the thumbs up button, that would be excellent. Thank you. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.